Hello and welcome to another podcast pontifications with me, Evo Terra. If you're watching this on video, please note this is not a video. Well, this is a video. This is not a podcast. It's a video about podcasting. If you would like to get the podcast, go to podcastpontifications.com and suck down all the 142 episodes all about making podcasting better. Today I'm continuing on the theme of change, embracing change to make your podcast better. Today, specifically, I want to talk about you. I want you to change your mind about podcasting. No, 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 that doesn't mean have second thoughts of whether you should be podcasting or not. <laughs> I, do, I do not mean that. What I mean is I want you, in this time of tumultuous change, to consider what you think about podcasting, the way you think about podcasting, the way you think about your podcast, where you see your podcast fitting in the grand scheme of your life, in the podosphere in general, your business, your relationships, all of that. I don't want you necessarily thinking about how to podcast. That's, that's not, we don't do that here at the program. And by we, of course, I mean me and my tapeworm. This is not a show about how to podcast. This is a show about ways to make your podcast better, but, you know, by thinking. Hence the name, pontifications about that. And so specifically, as you're thinking about ways to change your mind about podcasting, I want you to focus on, I want you to focus on two areas. Not the how, but the what and the why. And what I mean about the, and do those reverse, let's talk about the why at first. Why it is, clearly, that you podcast. What do you, what's, well, why you podcast, right? The why is important. When it comes to the what, I want you to think about what you want to get out of podcasting or what your podcast is designed to do. Those are the two things I want you to think about, and I'll spend a few minutes talking about those with you here giving you some ideas of how you might go about this because I recognize that not everyone embraces change as much as I and people weird people like me who like the churn most people tend to like things stable podcasting is anything but stable especially now in early 2019 as I record this we're going through lots of change right so let's talk about the why why it is you are a podcaster and why it is you are a podcast. Where do you actually fit in the middle of all of this? Where does it land your goals, your ideas, the things that you want to get out of it personally? Why are you podcasting? And also another thing to think about is why are you podcasting the way you're podcasting right now? Why are you doing that? That's probably the biggest question. Why is it when you sit down behind the microphone, go out into the field, pick up the phone, launch a squad cast, why are you doing it the way you're doing it right now? Chances are you're doing it because someone told you that was the way to do it. And they were probably right. But that might have been in 2006, 2012, heck, 2017. So many things have changed in podcasting. You need to look at why you're doing things the way you're doing them and make sure that those are still the best way to do them. How do you do that, you say, Evo? Well, again, write, write down, well, not again, <laughs> write down your process. Understand what it is that you do and then go look. How is it looking? What? Are the things that you are producing, how are they displaying? Are they working properly? Does that player that you decided to embed actually work when you share a link on Twitter and someone opens that link in Twitter's automatic browser? Does that player actually work? Hi, Matthew. Those are all the things you need to find out because you get in a routine. So asking why you're doing things the way you're doing things can help break that up. That's number one. Why are you doing things the way you're doing things? The second thing I mentioned, how you can change your mind about podcasting, is to ask, you to ask yourself the what questions. Not what are you doing, but what 
are you trying to get out of this? What is the goal? And then I want you, once you understand what is the goal, and I've talked about goals, I've talked about making outcomes that make sense for a podcast rather than tracking outputs for a podcast. It takes some soul searching to figure out what your goal is. You know what? Let me, let me change the way I say that because that sounds, that sounds too fruity. It doesn't take soul searching. It takes dedication. It takes commitment. It takes an understanding of back to the why question, why you're doing things. But also, the flip side of that is what you want out of it. You need to know what you want. And if you don't have a goal, if you don't have an objective, you don't have an outcome, and you just are doing the podcasting thing for fun, that's cool. Go right ahead and do that. But if you're a working podcaster, working podcasters need to have a goal. I think any podcast that you're spending time on, money on, or even energy on, needs to have a payoff at the end. Needs to have an objective at the, oh, you know, I didn't record any of this. Oh, well, this one goes, this one doesn't get recorded. Say lobby. <laughs> you need to have an objective of what it is that you're trying to do. You need to understand why, why you're doing that. So back to the planning step. So you gotta figure that thing out. And maybe it's just simply the joy of sitting behind a microphone on occasion and talking about stuff. Maybe that's it. But chances are it's not. If you're a working podcaster, chances are you've got something more specific that you're trying to get out of this. We talked about metrics before, and I don't don't mean that. I mean what it is you're trying to do. Where does this podcast fit in the business scheme of things? These episodes you're doing, where do they work? Why, you know, again, back to the what do we want to get out of this? What's the, how can we better leverage our podcast? What leverage can we make with our podcast to stay with the proper verb? That's an important thing to understand. Changing your mind about what it is you want to get out of a podcast, what the podcast is supposed to do. Changing your mind about why you do things the way you do things. If you can just focus on those two things, take, take an hour out of your day, today preferably, right now, just hit pause, well, not yet. When, I, when I'm done, when you hit the little wee at the end, take out a pen and paper and just start jotting down why you're doing the things you're doing and what it is you want to get out of it. And I promise that will help make your podcast better. If you need help with any of that, if you're a business and you need help with any of that, this is what I do. I have a podcast consultancy and I make podcasting not only easier but much better for the clients that I work with all around the globe. Check it out. Go to podcastlaunch.pro to look at all the services that I offer to my clients and give me an email, evo at podcastlaunch.pro. And I shall be back tomorrow with yet another podcast pontifications. Cheers.